What's up and welcome to this tutorial and today we're going to create an Emma Piano beat in Elf Studio. Make sure to check out my Emma Piano sample pack, the link is in the description, it contains all the sounds which are used in this tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. So for Emma Piano of course we're going to adjust the BPM to 113. So I'm going to use my Emma Piano sample pack and I'm going to start off with the shaker loops. I'm going to use this one. As you can see, it's already time stretched to the tempo of the project. I'm going to layer it using this one, the volume. And first, we're going to start off with the chord progression. So I'm going to use Purity from Sonic Cat. Select the preset. Use this vintage EP pad. I'm going to create this melody in C sharp minor. So I'm going to start off with this C sharp, E, G, and we can also use this F sharp. B, D, and F sharp. So a B, D sharp, and F sharp. And also use this B. I'm going to use this C, B, and we're going to use this G, B, A. So I've played around with the chord progression for a while and this is the final progression and I've manually adjusted the notes like this so I've dragged them around to strumize it but just by hand. So right now I'm going to add a guitar and I'm going to use Omnisphere. So I'm going to pick a guitar, the vintage one. I'm going to pick this jazz guitar finger as A. I'm just going to drag in the root notes. Or maybe create something like this. Copy those notes. And we're using this C sharp, but I'm going to turn up the C. We're using the C or C sharp. And we're going to exactly duplicate it one octave higher and just paste the note to the right. So right now I'm going to add purity and we're going to add a wood wine. I'm going to add this one. Turn up one octave. So that's it. And later on, I'm going to add some reverb. And I'm also going to add saw bass. So I'm going to use citrus. Citrus and search for a stock preset. We're going to search for brass. I'm using this one. We'll use it at four. Right now we're going to add some drums. So I'm going to use this kick. Like this. So this is the kick pattern. And right now I'm going to add some percussions. I'm going to use this one. I'm going to link those elements to the mixer and also those elements. Paste it into the arrangement. And I'm going to layer it using a rem shot. So I'm using this one. So we're now going to select a bongo. This short one. I'm going to create something like this. We're 
now we're gonna add some tones. And I'm gonna select some random ones. This one. This one. And this one. So I'm gonna disable loop points. So right now I'm gonna add some 16. I'll copy the pattern from 16 into 17. Select it. So right now we're going to add the log drum and we're going to use the DX10. And I'm going to drag in the presets from my sample pack. Log drum, log drum presets. And I'm just going to use log drum 5. Turn down one octave. Maximum volume. the adjustment to this F and B. And right, now we're gonna add a bass line. So I'm going to use the 3OSC, which is a stock plugin. Turn this down to zero and turn this down to zero percent. And right, now we're gonna recreate the lock drum pattern. So this is the final bass pattern. So that's it when it comes to the creative process. And right now I'm gonna create an arrangement and guide you through the final project. So this is the final beat and I hope you guys enjoy it. So first the drums, and the shakers. I've also added some more reverb. So added a reverb to one of the songs. This one. Really as an extra dimension. Of questions coming in. Added this crash. Guitar. coming in also added some more reverb to this one just put the reverb just the chords drums are coming in again Right now it's going all in. Guitar coming in.
Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Make sure to leave it a like so this video will be recommended to other Emma Piano Pro stores. And also make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and see you guys in one of my next tutorials.